minutes today. Um, first thing that we need to check out is building our state forum. So when you click on this info button, and you click on the info button here, you see your, your dispatch chances, which you first unlock at level 10. All right, then when you get to level 16, you get a major dispatch chance bonus. So for free to play and very low spenders, I would recommend uh, just leveling this up when you can, usually during a more than gems event. Because when you think about 0.5%, that's 1 out of 200. And it's already a slot machine. That's all this is, is a slot machine. So you're, you're sending it out to get formation choice chests. And these chests give you a chance to get something that most likely is utter garbage. All right. So when you go into your items here, you get your armaments. And ideally what you're go what's going to happen is you're going to get inscriptions um, later on if you get really, really lucky. All right. If not, it's going to take a long time to get these inscriptions. But right now you're looking for uh, these armaments to have one or two tr troop stats. All right. So you're looking at first, like you're, you're going to end up getting one stat, which will be like archer defense or cavalry attack or infantry health. And you're just going to put the best one that you have on whatever march that you're using for that formation. For this one, you have your wedge formation. All right. So ideally, uh, what seems to be the general consensus in the community is that your your wedge formation is the best formation out there. All right. So when you look at your formations here, all right, and let's click on the details, and your formations give you different buffs. So you have to understand what you're trying to accomplish with your march. All right, so like if you have like your Pakal Herald, you might want to use this arch formation just because it's increasing your normal attack damage, which will increase both your normal attacks and counter attacks. Um, right now, it seems to be that the wedge is the best one. Um, your echelon formation you'll use on a buffing march, which will be like a Trajan Mulan, something like that, or like your, your Trajan Ethel Flat, something like that. Right, uh, your V formation isn't used that much, and your hull square isn't used that much. Um, you do use your line formation, all right, but that's just really for gathering. And your triple line formation, I would probably only use on your one troop ruin march, all right. So, for the most part, you're going to be using your arch formation and most often your wedge formation. All right, so when you get these armaments, you kind of want them to be for one of those two, right? Maybe the hollow square if you're just trying to, like, tank and reduce the damage that you take. All right, so right off the bat, I would not go nuts uploading your state forum for the number of gems that you're going to put into the state forum to upgrade it. You're getting very, very little return. At the end of the day, it is just gambling. All right, so you have two options here that we primarily use. We have this first that option to travel. Um, your commander doesn't matter. I just don't know if they, it actually does anything, but usually I'll take like an expertise commander and I'll send these out by hitting this travel button. Right, and I got 10,000 wood, 10,000 wood, 3,000 gold, 10,000 food. 3,000 so you see like this isn't really a big deal like I got some sage there right every uh, every so often you'll get one of these usually it's for like like a uh, epic level armament but it, most likely 99.99 percent is going to be garbage it's just something that you're hoping that you I mean this one's kind of okay because if I don't have one of these armament types with two stats for archers on it, I could upgrade the current one. But over time, this is a long-term uh, mechanism within the game. Like, you just want to slowly upgrade, see how lucky you could get. Like, I would not overthink this travel button 
just go in. You want to do it every day, though, and just keep hitting that travel button. Hopefully, you get lucky. You see, like this one, I got two stats for cavalry, right? It's so hard to get three stats. Here's another one that's trash. I'm not going to be using siege to hunt barbs and... Uh, I might use cavalry to hunt barbs. You know, I might put that on my fort march or, or my cavalry barb hunting march. But for the most part, mo all this is just garbage. That's all it is. All right, so now we have our next section here, which is your dispatch section. All right, so um, you get a certain number of dispatches per day. They take some time. All right, you want to do these every day as well, but you want to focus on your epic one first, which costs a little more AP, All right? So you see, like I ran this one, I got something once again, total garbage. I'm not going to use this, not even on Trajan Mulan. So when we look at these, right? So you have different icons here, right? And you see we have multiples in here. So right now, uh, you got to look at what you're trying to get for what march. Well, like what I specifically mean, what type of march are you trying to get lucky for and what do you have currently? Right now, with what's going on with this, don't overthink this, right? Because like if you run the same icon over and over, most likely the one that you have is trash anyways. It's just going to increase your luck. And all these normal type ones, in the long term, you're going to end up upgrading. So don't let this overwhelm you. Just send them out. Right? Click the auto team up, dispatch. You know, auto team up, dispatch. Um, and auto team up, dispatch. Auto team up, dispatch. Don't overthink it. Because all these normal ones, primarily you want to focus on, on your your legendary or epic version first right so like don't overthink these other ones just send them out see what you get you might get lucky most likely you will not get lucky right so our our next section here that we want to talk about is um we have this function here that popped up in the courier station it, it kind of looks like an architect tool all right so we have these formation choice chests uh, most likely you want to try to build up by recycling your your terrible armaments. But it, it, in the first week or two, I want to go crazy recycling because you want to try to get um, more armaments for your marches. Really in this one, we want to look at the superior tab, right? And we want to try to get these items here, these inscription shards or these gold coins, right, that we get from recycling certain items right and we want to get an inscription shard chest that we put on something that has stats for the the same troop type so we want something that'll be like infantry health defense attack or infantry health defense all damage and then we want to put an inscription on there all right so we have different types of inscriptions here that will come into play down the line but right now so it's going to take you time to to get these unless you get lucky from these items that, that you get randomly here these formation choice chests and even these when you open these right you choose what formation i'm like I, i'm going for wedge first all right because i'm trying to get four good armaments for one march so you're working on one march at a time here so we'll hit confirm we get this banner of the Pantheon. Every now and then, right under Epic here, you'll get something that says uh, Inscription. Right? But it's not guaranteed to be one of these inscriptions that you are working on. Right? Like Battle Cry or War Cry. Something that you're using for your field marches. I mean, at this point, from what I've been seeing, I'd be stoked to get one that gave me extra resources when gathering right now so for the most part don't overthink this don't let it overwhelm you it's basically just a slot machine that you use your ap for right now 
So you just go in, send out all your travels. Hopefully you get lucky, right? Send out your dispatches. Prioritize on, on legendary, epic, then normal. And I would not think too hard about normal and uh, armaments. I just send them out, see what happens, right? And then when you go in your armaments, you go here and like book a Horus. That that one I really don't want to recycle, but like this one, um. I'll take this one and I'll click recycle, right? And you see it comes up with multi-select. I, I don't want to multi-select. I just want to find the one that I want. Like this one, troop load, siege unit attack. I might put that on a siege march, a gathering march, but it's not for the right formation. So right now... I'm getting from the formation 10% of the stats for gathering. So this one is garbage. It's useless. I'm not going to use the wedge formation with this armament over just the formation for gathering. So I'm going to recycle it. And I'm going to click confirm. And then I get two uh, of these lesser premium currency, right, which we use in this, this architect um, shop here. So, like, if I was aiming i'd save up at least 20 right but i mean it's not really that big of a deal because as you know after one day of opening this stuff you realize that just all of this it, it doesn't even matter if you spend it is just pure luck and when you think about the odds within this game to get something good i would not even stress over this it, it's total if anything, all it does is even the playing field a little bit in between free to play and pay to win because you have a good chance of getting lucky where they're going to keep spending to get the same odds and it's not not going to help. You know, So don't overthink this. Just upgrade this building here during more than gems because when you go in here and you look at your... your Major dispatch chance bonus 0.5%, right? In the gems that it requires to upgrade this, like right here, that would be 4,500 gems to upgrade this to get the same benefit. Like I'll get an extra dispatch chance, but when you look at your dispatch chances here, right? I'm not aiming for normal, right? I want epic or legendary, and everyone would feel the same thinking that way right you want at least an epic that has three stats for the same troop type don't get me wrong when we send these out and we get normal ones with three stats for the same troop type we're going to be excited right but right now i mean this is just in-game gambling that that's all it is right so don't think about this too much and uh I, just want to let you know this is just what i think about this is that number one don't overthink it don't let it overwhelm you just run with something you'll be okay right like when it comes down to your specific formation for your troop marches right so like i mean like you only have a few that you're really going to use but don't beat yourself up over it just choose one and go with it and then when you're getting these armament choice chests try to just work on one at a time you know it's basically resetting everyone back to ground zero um we all have equipment right this is just a gambling way of looking at equipment that that's all it is don't don't beat yourself up over this you have the same chances as a pay to win player that spends thousands and thousands of dollars on this just put your march out there slowly work on your armaments Maybe you'll get lucky one day and get an inscription, but don't beat yourself up over it because when you look at these stats on these armaments, you're talking like a couple percent here and there, right? Like I, I got lucky on this one, right? Like I, I'm pretty excited. I got an inscription on it that increases my troop health by three and a half percent. Like I, I, I crushed this one and it's nothing but luck. It's not like I put any money into this. And, and this is, or, or I've worked towards this. I, it's just total luck. All right. So don't beat yourself up on it. Just work on it daily 
and hopefully one day you get lucky.